Hey there community, in this video, I'm gonna go over the general architecture of an AI application. And we're gonna look at this from the lens of the application services that support an AI application. Now, many people might think that an AI application is very different from regular applications. However, as we go through this, you'll see that AI applications generally adopt similar design patterns to other modern applications. And that means the application delivery services like scaling, orchestrating, and securing, like what F5 provides, are very much a must have for AI applications. On top of that, there's a significant data storage and data movement aspect in AI, whether for training or for retrieval augmented generation applications, which we'll dive into deeper. In fact, we documented all of what I just mentioned in the F5 AI reference architecture. But in this video, I'll take you through the key points. First, let's quickly go over this diagram from the AI reference architecture that illustrates the different pieces of an AI factory, and I'll highlight a few key points. Starting with scaling AI, there's a couple areas that I want to discuss. Now on this end, we have various points where data enters the life cycle of an AI model. Your organization may or may not be training your own models, but if you are, this means you're going to be ingesting an immense amount of data. S3 has become the common language of AI object storage. We see customers needing to scale this up to keep up with the load that must be ingested. The S3 protocol actually uses HTTP, which means it's natural for F5 customers to use our Big IP local traffic manager product to take care of this large scale traffic management. Another area where we see the need to scale is when it comes to model training and inference services. This function is commonly performed with GPU clusters. Now it's commonly understood that GPUs are a significant investment, whether it's a large amount for training services or a strategic deployment for inferencing in various locations closer to end users or closer to data. In both scenarios, it's important to optimize GPUs for utilization in order to achieve return on investment. This is where F5 partners with NVIDIA to fulfill on NVIDIA accelerated computing, where we leverage the NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPUs running Big IP Next for Kubernetes. In the case of model training, these DPUs with Big IP Next for Kubernetes will offload tasks from the CPU in order to optimize GPU workload scheduling. In the case of inference, these environments will utilize multi-tenancy. And so Big IP Next for Kubernetes will integrate with the network segmentation that is needed to maintain secure isolation and auditability of traffic from one tenant to another. Next, let's go over the orchestration of services. There's a couple different aspects to consider. First, there's workloads that need to run, whether for model training, as well as for inference, whether in a central location, a region, or far edge. In a central location, you usually have a container workload scheduling solution already in place. This is usually Kubernetes based. In a regional and edge scenario, it's helpful to have a solution that can be deployed in a scalable fashion with connectivity back to a central location that is low latency. Additionally, for solutions that are leveraging RAG or retrieval augmented generation, it's critical to get data to regional and edge sites using secure, high performance connectivity. This is where people would look at F5 Distributed Cloud App Stack to be able to run inference workloads on a scalable platform, as well as F5 Distributed Cloud Network Connect to enable multi-cloud networking capabilities such as that high-performance, low-latency global network. These workloads are also typically container-based and running on Kubernetes. A key component of a Kubernetes infrastructure is the ingress into the cluster. This is where we'll be able to leverage the Nginx ingress controller to provide a scalable and secure solution while offering visibility on that AI traffic. Finally, let's look at securing this AI application. I had just mentioned the Nginx ingress controller that provides entry into Kubernetes clusters where the AI workloads are running. Like other types of applications, these workloads need to be secured as they often have access to sensitive data or they are providing services that need to maintain availability for the customers they serve. When using Nginx ingress controller, you can add on Nginx app protect which can take care of the layer seven web application attacks, as well as helping with DDoS attacks at layer seven. This also provides a platform for deploying security policies consistently, should you be running AI workloads across a number of locations and need to ensure that each instance is secured. If we dig a little deeper, AI application communications will typically happen over APIs. 
Well, this is great for quickly establishing standardized communication patterns between the services that comprise an AI application. APIs pose security challenges when they're not documented properly or at all, leading to a lack of visibility to what you're trying to secure in the first place. F5 Distributed Cloud WAP Services allows you to discover APIs that are running through your hybrid multi-cloud environments and apply security policies consistently to the APIs once they are discovered. Lastly, the prompts going to an AI application and the models within it need to be handled differently than a traditional web application. The reason for that is that normal web applications have typical expected requests going into the application. In the case of AI applications that take in prompts, the inputs can vary greatly because they're based on natural language and the intent of the prompt can be crafted in unlimited ways and it's necessary to inspect the prompt to determine validity and intent, whether it's legitimate or illegitimate. This flexibility allows for ingenious and novel attacks to be created based on the clever usage of language. This is where F5's AI gateway can be leveraged in order to consider each chat message and determine whether there needs to be involvement of additional functions to secure or provide additional processing of that chat message. Administrators can set up policies that dictate how to deal with certain types of chat messages, whether you need to allow, block, or further process a message. So I hope that gives you an idea of all the components of an AI application. There's far more to cover, and I would recommend that your next step is looking at the F5 AI reference architecture and dive deep into any of the application components. You'll learn more about what goes into an AI application and how to scale, orchestrate, and secure that application. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you click like, subscribe if you wanna see more and learn more about AI. And otherwise we will see you on the next one. Bye folks.